We are currently staying at our favorite boondocking location, Gunsight Wash BLM Land in Y, Arizona. This is our second time here. We like this area because this place is huge. There are many spots to choose from and it doesn't matter how many people are here, you can still find a way to create your own space. There is a drop lot at the entrance when you pull in that you can use to go scope out your site if you choose. Verizon cell service here is super good and the town of Ajo is only 15 minutes away. When driving here, it can sometimes be difficult to tell what is main road and what isn't. There are steep and rutted washes in here, so you have to watch out for them. And you might get some Arizona pinstriping, but the views are worth it, especially if you get to park by a cool saguaro cactus. We tried to do some relaxing here this time. Since we've been having such crummy cold and windy weather, we were actually able to have a couple fires. And this place is great to just walk and ride your bike. You can spend time here without even having to leave. So while I was walking at Gunsight Wash, I had a lady ask if I needed any blankets or any food. Apparently I looked homeless. <laughs> kind of funny, but uh, different. we'll go in a different direction from Carl being homeless. It's, uh, this is an area where there is a potential for illegal immigrant activity. There's a sign right here behind me. However, I will say we've been here twice now, uh, 13 or 14 days total. We get to see any suspicious people and uh, there are lots of people around this time so i wouldn't be too worried about any safety or security and we are about five minutes away from a huge border patrol station and we've seen i don't know probably 30 different border patrol vehicles in the area uh, lots of them will park across the street the rest area even so even though there could be some illegal activity here i definitely would feel very safe never give it a second thought just take normal precautions and uh, if something doesn't seem right it might not be might be a redneck if you sit in your truck to watch the sunset <laughs> in the desert we have a good view so we hopped up in the back of the truck we all see the sunset here is that sun setting well worth the effort let's get in the truck and take a look We saw all sorts of hummingbirds around here when we moved in. They came to check us out and they got super close and came right up to the window of the camper. So we went to the store and we found the super cool cactus hummingbird feeder. Got some hummingbird food, put it out, and it didn't take long. And now we have all sorts of hummingbirds coming around throughout the day starting hummingbird wars with each other. We even have one little guy that will just sit and watch and he doesn't want other hummingbirds to come near it. And we call him Richard. This is Richard. Richard thinks that this hummingbird feeder is his. Richard likes to sit in this bush right here and watch his hummingbird feeder. And if another hummingbird comes, he likes to dart at them. Richard doesn't like to share 